What is going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here. Coming at you guys with um, the new BT, uh, the new BT. So the G Generation uh, BT One. Uh, I did. I got six of these actually. So I actually ended up opening uh, three of them already, pre pre in advance. Kind of like excited a bit. So um, I'll show you exactly what I got. And uh, apologies for the camera angle. It's just that the other camera is kind of broken right now. So gotta use whatever I can. So it's. I hopefully this is a good decent angle and. At the end, I'll probably take a picture or something to show you guys, but yeah. So, just moving aside these three. So, we got one Route Flare Dragon for Triple R's. We got the Royal Paladin card. Uh, I think that if I show it to you like this, I'm assuming you'll be able to see it. So, we got Route Flare. We got one of these. And then we got uh, Generation Rare. So, we got the um, Chrono Command. It's uh, really cool. The texture is kind of like an SP, but at the same time, it's a... Uh, like a, it's pretty much like an SP, but it's also like a Legion rare in the way that they, uh, it's like formed around the character, so the character is kind of like normal. We got one Ragnar clock. We got uh, the Vict Plasma thingy. I'm not exactly sure. We got two Dragonic Overlord, the X or the Cross, however you want to say it. But it's a really good card, and I'm really happy that I pulled at least two right now. And then we also pulled uh, one of the Nova Grappler one and the Oracle Think Tank one. So, they're okay. We got. I think we got one of at least every triple R, so it's pretty good. Pretty good. Then, for double R's, we got two of the Kagero Grade 3, two of the Gear Chronicle Grade 3, one Kagero 9K, we got one Royal Paladin card, one Gear Chronicle card, one Nova Grappler one, I think? I'm assuming it might be Nova, Nova Grappler. One um, Perfect Guard for... Uh, which one call it? No, this is not. This is Oracle Think Tank. I think I'm not sure. I'm ex I'm not exactly sure. It's Oracle Think Tank. Um, this one's uh, the Royal Paladin Perfect Guard, the new one that if it if there's a copy in the drop zone, you get to um, counter blast one. I mean, you get to unflip. <coughs> same thing for Nova Grappler, and then same thing for Oracle Think Tank, and we got one Protect Orb Dragon for Kagero. So now, without further ado, hopefully you guys can see well enough. Let's get on to the boxes. We're gonna do all three right now. And hopefully that the camera angle is good enough so that we can see everything. Uh, there we go. Oh, and also these boxes are pretty neat because they're kind of like textured, so you can kind of feel it. It feels really cool, like. I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of like you have a texturized cardboard. So we're going to open up this one first, and then we'll get these ones out. So I'm going to open it first, and then I'll turn it the other way. So you get pieces of paper, and then you get one of these five, cro we cro uh, five cross, and then you get one of these. So you get one of the promos, um, a signed one, and this is the Gear Chronicle one. There's a Royal Paladin one, and a... Um, New Nectar one. I do have the other two. It's just that this is the first one I've pulled for Gear Chronicle, which is really good. Um, I'll show you the other ones if I don't actually end up pulling the ones in the last three, which I hopefully won't because I kind of need more of these. Um, you get one pack of promos. We'll open that last also. And then we also have the box. So, um, a like based upon what I've been, like the three boxes, a lot of the good stuff is on the left side. So we're going to save the left side to last. So left is here. Like in fact, the generation rare. The second pack on the left side, the second top from the top, I pulled it, so I was pretty impressed. And like the left, the right side doesn't have a lot of stuff. So this is the left side of the box. Uh, this is the right side of the box. So we're gonna open up that one first. And then I just put it here. We got a hollow. We got the Kagero one. I'll put these side. This might be a longer video since I kind of organize my stuff in a different way than most card fight Vanguard players. You know, it's all Got a rare? Oh yeah, you get one of every rare in the box, so basically you're guaranteed to get... Like, if you get four, you'll have a playset of every single rare. Like, I've done the... I have literally opened three and I've gotten one of every rare in each one. 
So there's around, I think there's 22 R's, and then four of them are like uh, generate G units. So we got another Gear Chronicle one. So it's really good because the Gear Chronicle one is like one of the best ones. Well, it's pretty much. Gear Chronicle doesn't have a very big card pool, so having that card is very good because it allows for a lot of plays, including gener. Because Gear Chronicle is nothing without their generation zone. The Gear Chronicle Legion for the Legion Mate. If anything, I might just end up opening one on camera, depending on how long this video is. And then there's the Legion. So this is the Gear Chronicle Legion. I'm not sure if you guys can see that perfectly, but there it is. So, so far, one double R, and it's not the best. So this is the one that the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the Kagero Pay one. Oh, and we got another Generation Rare! Oh yeah! Never mind, left side gives you generation. Actually, I don't even know which side that was on. This is on the right side. Right side, for once, gives me something really good. Holy cow. Oh, and, um. Sorry, something just turned on, and I was like, what the heck is that? Because I've never heard that sound before. But then I just realized it was the heater, so it's okay. Um, yeah, so, generation rare, I think it takes up your triple R, because last pack I. Oh my gosh! Dragonic Overlord, the cross also. <laughs> Wow, okay, confirmed. This box, very good. Right side, no longer bad. Uh -huh. So yeah, um, yeah, I guess those two packs back to back were really good. I'm not gonna lie and say that the left side still is bad. It's pretty good now, but maybe just for this box. Um, so yeah, um, I think the Generation Rare takes up a triple R, because last one I I did, I didn't get a triple R for the Generation, in replace of the Generation Rare, but we can see. We'll check. And if you guys have been noticing, all the rares are different ones, and that's because, like I said, you only get one of each. Oh, and we got the Gear Chronicle Perfect Guard. Wow, this is a really good side. This is quite impressive. I'm not going to lie here, guys. This is quite impressive. And I'm going to move this to the side because I think that it'd be better like that. Okay. So let me just move these two up here and these two here. That. So yeah, now this is... Oh, and I also got two of these. That's what I meant. Forgot. That's what I did. I have two of these also. That's why I'm missing some double R's in there. So I got two of the Gear Chronicle Perfect Guards already. I was wondering what I was missing. And then there's one of the normal. That's the Nova Grappler uh, G unit. That's normal. Not much to say. Like, <laughs> this set's pretty good. It's pretty powerful. I don't know. I'm probably not going to get the next set because, I don't know, the next set is just like new nectars and stuff, and there's nothing really that's going to... Nothing's really piquing my interest in that set. Like, the Gear Chronicle stuff might get, but just, like, as singles, and then just do an updated deck profile. Ooh, wow. Okay, this isn't very good, but... Wow. That's five. Mm. Usually it's, like, literally three on the right side, but I guess not. So this is another double R. It's the Gear Chronicle double R. It's not very good, but... It's it's decent. Like, in the sense that... It's a, you can put it in the deck and it'll still be operational. It's just not favorable. Chrono Jet Dragon and the uh, Legion are probably better. Well, they are better. Okay, so that's the this one side. That was the right side. Just tidy up a bit, and I will get to the left side. So at this point, like you can see already, just by the ratios, that there's going to be at least um, I think two double R's in the the right side, uh, the left side, and Two double, uh, two triple R's, or something like that. So it's already kind of equaling out. But if there wasn't the generation rare, then it'd probably be one side better. But depends. I have to see. I don't know if the ratio stays the same. 
because it, there's a chance that we don't actually have um, what you call it. I can't remember the names. Uh, we don't have double R's. We don't have another th a third triple R. Which would be like I don't get why they do that because if you want to promote the game and make the cards cheaper for players to play buy, then you might as well just get um, increase the ratios. My personal opinion on the th the matter. Oh yeah, and I will be probably doing a Dragonic Overlord the Cross. Uh, oh yeah, this is the other one. This is the other card. That's the other promo that you can get in the like actually in the set. That's also a signed card. The other one's a Neo Nectar one, and it's not actually in the set, so you can only get it by opening boxes and getting it as promos. And there's the Victon Plasma. I think his name is. Uh, he's actually pretty decent, but you need four of them. So I would have rather have Rep Flare because I kind of need four, and now I probably won't get. In I probably won't be able to. Yeah, I'll probably be doing the cross and gear chronicle. I don't. I'm not. I'm not sure about uh, royals because there's a chance I might, or there's a chance I'm not going to. It all depends. But yeah, you can easily get like the Kagero has a, like they have a heal triggers and draw triggers in this set, so it's quite easy to, for you to just get um, some little boosts into your deck and not have to get previous sets. Uh, Atomos is one of the better uh, generations. The normal Cray Elemental. He's like a uh, Neon Messiah, except he's 15k, and he gains, you can counter blast one to give plus 10,000. So it's a really powerful card. We got the Gear Chronicle, um, Soul Blast 2, draw 1, so Calamity Tower Wyvern. I think I saw a Hollow, so we're gonna... This is a Nova Grappler, um card. I don't know exactly what it does, but it says Generation Break, so clearly it's not, you don't play many of it until later, because like, that's what I've been noticing. Even though some cards are really powerful with Generation Break, without it, it's completely useless, so you don't play ma a lot of them. And this is the card that searches out for the Kagero card, I believe. It's the also the pay one for Stride, so that it's really good. It just pays for Stride. Like pays the cost of story. It becomes a great three in hand when you discard it. So yeah, there's a big chance now that there is no other triple R, and that's I still don't like that. Yeah. Oh, this is the Kagero one. It's the on hit retire rear guard, so it's pretty powerful. It forces the opponent to guard early. If it's your, you usually go into that first for the cross, and then you go into Rut Flare later, because then you have two face up for his cost. Oh, another Oracle thing. This is the Oracle Think Tank one that if you have it in the drop zone, you can unflip. I don't know why I keep on pulling that. I really don't enjoy pulling that. I'd rather be pulling Rut Flares, but I guess Rut Flare is kind of harder to pull as the PG. And last pack. Yep. So you do, the Generation Rear does take out one of your spots for the Triple R's, and that is it. So you got five here, and then three here. Total eight, which it should be. Oh, actually, I'll just keep these out. I'll just put these out here. Uh, let's do it like that or something. Yeah, like that. Um, let me just tidy this up, and we can move on to box two. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. I probably have to move this. I, I can't see the camera, guys. There's no, like, monitor on the camera that I'm using right now, so I'm not exactly sure as to where everything is. Like, I just know in, in this relative area, it's safe to put everything, so that's what's happening. These to the side. Move these to the middle. And we'll do that. Just like that. Box number two, we're opening it now. I do apologize again though, guys, for the quality, because I'm not used to using this one. I've only used it for one other video, say, so, you know. It, things happen though. 
Okay, so what do we got? Oh, yes! We got another one. Woo! Oh, baby, a triple. Okay, so yeah, it's really good. Um, divide up the sides again. This is left side. And this... Is right side. Let's get down to business. Yeah, whatever. And we're gonna look through, and we got one of these. I'm just gonna put it like that. Oh, a point! It's about time. We finally got a point. Man, these points are hard to come by, guys. Hard to come by. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not like uh, joking. There's a very low chance of getting points, I guess, or something. That is reasonable, though. I guess they want to sell more and they don't want to lose too much money from giving free stuff out. Oh, and then this is the Royal Paladin one that if you count, if you have it in the drop zone, uh, you can unflip one. It's quite good. Like, all the new ones are good, but they have to be only protecting the Vanguard, so if you don't... So if you get something like the X or something, or the Great, or whichever one, the Dragonic Kagero in general, you kind of maybe want to just play the normal Perfect Guards. If you give me a second, I'm going to go close the door so that we can continue. Okay, back. See, that's why I always keep, I usually end up keeping these until the very end and then I look through them at the, later on so that I just make sure that I don't miss any points because last time on the Neos, Neon Messiah one, I actually missed like one or two points and that was really detrimental. That was like, wow, I missed that many. Kind of like a speed unboxing because I can't really show you guys all. Okay, so we got another one of the Nova Grappler cards. Very disappointing moment. Oh yeah, in all honesty, like a lot of the cards here in this set are like you can probably build a deck just out of it because, you, like I said, you have crit triggers and everything. I know I've said that before, but, like, it's really possible, because, like, they tried to make this set, like, the starter set, just like BT1, so you can build off of previous decks, but you can also just use this, and you're fine. Like, apart from the the cross. Oh, and here's the Royal Paladin, um, Generation Stride unit thingy. It's pretty good. Uh, I believe it gives power and calls, which is what Royal Paladin's known for. But you need uh, four copies of it. So that, like, I think that's a uh, trick that Bushiroad used is using. Like, the, they all have to persona blast by unflipping one into the G unit, the G zone. So they're forcing people to buy more. Which I can see the tactics. I understand the tactics. Yeah, hopefully uh, this isn't too too boring. Like I'm assuming that it's not because it's, you probably checked on this video for a reason and just to see it. But you know, pretty cool. So yeah, like I've said before, you get like 10Ks and stuff like that. So it's really powerful the set for starters or like just people that want to like invest in a big set. Like this is probably one of the sets that I would highly recommend investing in because it offers like probably the best cards that you can get your money back for because the cross and everything. You know? And I'm not sure how it's going to be like in English because as I've seen... Oh, wow. I haven't got this one yet. Uh, what is it? 
Sorry guys, the camera cut off on me really quickly, so that was my, that was kind of odd, but I guess it's okay. So we just pulled like a rare and stuff, but we didn't really do anything major. And last pack for the, uh, the right side, I believe. Yeah, the right side. So it's just a hollow. I mean, not a hollow, whatever. Oh. What was that? And last side for the last pack. Last side for the last box. The left side. I think the left side is trying to show me that it has something to prove. By giving me decent stuff on that side. But then again, the X was on the right side. Uh, the right side, sorry. It's trying to show me to prove. I'm just going to speed up a bit, guys. Because I don't want what happened to cut off again. It would be very unfortunate. Then, yeah, stay tuned for deck profiles because it's going to be probably obvious that I'm going to make Gear Chronicles first since it's just like the trial decks and everything since I have the trial decks. Like, the G's, the Generation Zone is probably going to be the biggest thing. I probably don't, I don't have enough Ragnar clocks, but I can just proxy those. Actually, wait, I, I'm not, I'm missing a Perfect Guard also. Just realized. For Gear Chronicle? And we got another point with an Atomos. That's good. So I think I have like eight points now or something. I have lots of points. Not sure what I'm gonna use them on, so I don't know. Yes, Route Flare. Woo! This is a very Kagero based pull, but you know, um, Kagero based um, box, but I love it because you know, Route Flare good. But then that means I don't have a. I think that's my last one, so I can't pull. Um, what should we call it? Uh, what is it? Ragnarok. You're surprising me though. I think Ragnarok was also a Bushi Road monthly something. Thing. Oh gosh. No, please no. Cool thing tank. But yeah, I think I'll be coming out with a lot of budget decks because I have a lot of stuff that I don't. I'm not going to use. So I'm probably going to. Put it for sale as budget decks and see what happens. Oh. Oh, and we got another Royal Paladin one. So that makes it, like, I've j in general gotten at least three of every perfect guard except Protector, which is really disappointing because I was hoping that I wouldn't have to go and get it as a single. Last two packs. I think we've cleared out the hollows. We probably have cleared out the hollows, so these should just be ours, I think. Oh, oops. pack yep alrighty guys so that was everything let's I'm gonna tidy this stuff up first and then I'll open up the promo pack for you guys to see and then I'll also be getting the um the much we call it I'll open up one of the promo packs since I don't need I don't need all of them, but you know, I'll open up one. Because there's cat magnum, I think they call it. Let me just go get the other one, because I there's a royal paladin one. Or something as such. Okay, so in general you get um just not sit on something. Um, you get you get uh, these promo packs, so I have like six of them now. And then you get one of the three, so you get your options were are to get either the Neo Nectar one, which is, can only be obtained in the pack, 
there's, I mean, yeah, in the pack, there's the Royal Paladin one, and then there's the Gear Chronicle one. The Gear Chronicle one is that, and then you can also still get the Royal Paladin one inside the set. Let me just find it. Yeah, there you go. So you can also get it inside the set. It's just the, this one, but they're all the cards that the effect is that you can in hand, it becomes a grade three if you want to activate stride with it. So that's what it is. There's only one card inside of it. So what for ratios, what I got was that I got two of these, I got two, three of these, and I surprisingly only, only got one of those. So it's not that bad, but I was hoping that I would get less of these and then just more of these. Just move these aside. And then we're going to open up one pack. Uh, they open this? It's convenient. A little terrace here symbol. Uh -huh. And it's stuck on it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you got the stride, Cat Magnum guy, and then you got the Legion for, I think, Royal Paladins also. It's an okay legion, I think. It's it, it's playable, you can use it in the deck as a main and it's, it'd still be competitive. And then you got the Nova Grappler Limit, Limit Break Enabler. And all apart from that guys, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing all the goodness that has come out of BT1 for me and all the shame, the sadness it has also. But yeah, apart from that guys, hope you enjoy. Um, comment, rate, like, and subscribe. It's the best way for you to tell me that you guys are loving what our team is putting out as content and the such, and it allows us allows you to keep stay up to date with what we have to offer. Until next time, guys. It's been Tony from Team Divine Pro signing off. Bye.